Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan, and today we have an uh, iPhone tutorial. We're gonna be doing um, core graphics like CG points, and yeah, we're gonna get right into it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a um, a falling image, and we're gonna detect its location, and we're gonna display an alert when it's at that location. You know, I just thought that that would be kind of a good idea. So we're just gonna call it fall test. I just do test all the time. Move this. Okay, I'm just save it to the desktop. All right, so. Go into your viewcontroller.h. <clears throat> we're going to have to find some things, declare some variables. So we're going to make an IB outlet for a UI button. And we're just going to call that asteroid. And we're going to need an IB outlet for a for two labels, actually. Um, we're going to call this point label. It's like, uh, actually, we're going to call it pass label. Wait, we don't even need this. I'm, we're only going to do this one time. I was gonna just display how many times um, the button or the image passes the um, the uh, imaginary little margin line we're gonna create, but it doesn't matter. So we're just gonna just be start. This actually can be an image, but I'm choosing a button because it's it's clear and it's clickable. Okay, so just need start. So go into your view controller and then put in your start method, your uh, start action or method, whatever. So in the start, before we actually do this, you don't need an ID sender, just do start. It's not that. So while we're in the H, actually, we're going to have to make... No, not that. We're going to have to make an NS timer for when it actually does fall. And we're going to call it timer. And then we're going to need an int. Call it timer int. Oh, I love doing computer math. So we're going to make a void method. So we're going to call this void, um, I guess we'll just call it fall. All this is going to do is basically, um, whatever, it's it's going to, you'll see what it does. I don't really feel like explaining right now. So we're going to type timer int plus equals one. So it's like plus timer int equals one, basically. Or if you don't know what plus equals is, then I'd rather, I'd just Google it, get more information on it. So plus equals one. And then um, we're going to define our CGs here in a second. But first, we're going to do our, our, our timer code. So do timer equals square bracket, NS timer, schedule time intervally, click the second one, do 0 0.05. Target is always self. Selector is the void statement, which is going to be doing the timer. So we do at selector, fall, user info, nil, repeats. Yes, it does repeat. Okay. So then after that, this is when they when they click the start button. This, this is what's going to be uh, going on. So, and then in the fall, we're going to do uh, whatever named it. So we named it asteroid dot center equals parenthesis cg point make asteroid dot center dot x. And then we're only going to be making it go down the y because the y is up and down, obviously. <laughs> so center dot y plus 5, which is its uh, which is its speed. It used to eclipse, so I thought I would just overwrite those parentheses. So that's the speed. Okay, so when you click start, this is what's going to happen. The timer is going to start, and then it's it's going to fall. So we're going to make two buttons. Just a start button. And we're going to make another button. Just call it asteroid. Really, really simple. Just put it right here on the y-axis. Okay, and then once we once we make sure this is working and everything, we're going to actually um, find its its x and y coordinates, and we're gonna let it, we're gonna give the user a little uh, alert to let them know that they have gone past this. Uh, they've gone past that value. Okay, so we're gonna launch it. Make sure everything's working correctly, which it should be. Okay, click start, and bam, the asteroid will fall down the screen, and it just slides right off the screen. So now to see when it's at that certain point, what we're going to do is in our M, under the fall statement, we're going to do if asteroid.center.y is less than or equal to, because as you go down, the Y value goes up. It's because it's weird with coding. It's different than normal Y chart. So a graph. So asteroid center dot y is greater than or equal to. We'll just say 348 because that's by the start button, though on the y. 
So once this happens, we're going to do UI alert view star alert equals UI alert view allocate in it with title at quotes y is greater than or equal to 348. We'll call it message nil delegate self cancel button title at quotes dismiss other button titles nil and you can just get rid of the second nil. And then we're going to do alert show. Damn it. Uh, alert show. Alert. And then we're just going to release it. Save some memory here. Alert release. So, launch it. And you can do this with more images on the screen, but we're just going to do this one. So it'll pop up around here. Yeah, so the Y is great. The only reason it keeps popping up is because it, um, we're going to fix this right now. The reason it pops up is because it's still going past it, and it, as it goes down, it gets greater. So it keeps gonna, it's going to keep popping up. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, also do timer invalidate. So we're going to stop this from moving. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to hide the asteroid. Only because if, if, if it's, it's not going to be falling anymore, so you might as well hide it from your users. There's really no point. It'll be stupid if you would still show it unless you wanted to do that. So it should only appear once. There. Y is less than or equal to 348. And that's it. So when you click start, it's, it's, it's only going to show up when you click start because to, to the view, it's, it, it still thinks it's there. So whenever you click start, it's, it's going to tell you that that's where it is. But when you do click start, you can also move the um, asteroid back. So you want to do asteroid to move it back. This is just an extra. Center dot y equals cg point make or cg point zero. And it's going to it's gonna set it back to zero. Expression is not assignable. There, that's right. Don't put the y. It's just asteroid dot center equals cg point zero. So it moves it back to like center. So let's just make sure this is working and clarify. Okay, well, it's going to go down there, but it will still work. There we go. Launch it again, and okay, it doesn't work. So basically, that was just, in some cases, it's it will work. In some cases, it won't. But basically, what we did was we made it fall down, and then, these kids are so loud, and then we saw what point it was at, and we displayed an alert. So that's all. Thank you for watching.